Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. We got mail. Santee, can you talk about the authenticity of the swinging saloon doors you see in western movies? Tuco the Rat. Bat wings. Hmm. Doors. Bat wing doors. Full film. I decided to tackle this because the folks in wardrobe had been putting up all sorts of window dressings at Old Tucson. As well as making curtains, they found these vinyl static sheets that give the window panes a Victorian look. We have fancy saloon doors that have glass panes, so they added to them as well. Yeah, we see them in about every western movie and television show. Those double swinging doors are known as bat wing doors because of their shape. What was the purpose of them? Adios. Adios. Uh, not a bad idea, but no, not exactly. First, it's important to note that bat wings had a regular set of doors that accompanied them. Not only did saloons eventually close for the night, but in cold or wet weather it would be prudent to have something that keeps out the elements. The climate kind and the rapscallion kind. Let's open up. We're closed. You're open. We're open. Sadly, there are very few existing photos of 19th century swinging saloon doors, enough to prove their existence, however. The design helped ventilation in those smoky bars. They let the smoke out and the fresh air in. Opening a back door or window would allow for a cross breeze as well. Hey, can't you read the sign? Additionally, the noises of people having a grand old time inside was alluring for passers-by who might be enticed to go in. Many towns had multiple saloons, so it also made it easier for you to find your pals without entering each establishment. The doors were high enough that kids couldn't peer over them to see the debauchery. Let's not leave out the silver screen's intimidation factor of entering a saloon through the bad wings. In 1880, Lorenz Bomber patented the first double spring hinge. By 1886, they were being made from stamped steel as opposed to solid brass or iron to make them lighter and stronger. That company is still producing these hinges today. Hollywood westerns don't seem complete without these batwing doors, although from my research, more Old West saloons employed the double door look. If we maintain that Bomber's hinge design wasn't out there until the 1880s, then anything prior to that would be questionable. However, there is something uniquely satisfying about a saloon brawl where a fella gets thrown through one of these doors. Also, I think we all secretly want to enter a bustling saloon and our mere presence makes all music and conversation stop. Don't we? Come on. Stay out of here! Folks, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on down the trail. Thank you.